So I'm sure you guys are pretty used to seeing Wells of Radiance being placed everywhere during damage phase, right? Well, something you don't see every day is Banner Shield. If you don't know, Banner Shield got a pretty substantial buff with the Witch Queen, going up from a 25% damage bonus to a 40% damage bonus. In this video, I just want to compare Banner Shield to Bubble and try and figure out exactly when and where you should be using Banner Shield, Bubble, or Well for damage phase. First, we're just going to get a read on how Banner Shield and Bubble compare on their own. In this, we're going to set each player's DPS to D and time to X to simplify things. With the 25% damage boost of Bubble and Well, your team will do 1.25 times 6 X damage since all players get a 25% damage bonus. This will come out to 7.5 players worth of damage per second on the boss. With the 40% damage boost of Banner Shield, you end up dealing 1.4 times 5 X damage per second since all 5 non-Banner Shield players have a 40% damage bonus. So this will come out to only 7 players worth of damage on the boss. So on its own, Banner Shield is in fact worse than Bubble. However, there may be some ways to offset this. To start off, let's look at the DPS meta. On most bosses, you're going to want to use heavily sustained DPS, which oftentimes means linear fusion rifles. If the Banner Shield player is using only Banner Shield, you miss out on half a person's worth of DPS over using just well. However, instead, what if we equip the Banner Shield player with some super heavy burst DPS before they pop Banner Shield to offset the lost damage? The first three things that come to mind are Parasite in Succession, Izanagi's Burden with a Demolitionist Overflow Haze and Vengeance, as well as an Izanagi's Burden with a Demolitionist Explosive Light Typhon Grenade Launcher. Parasite at times 20 hits for 271,164. Succession with Recombination times 10 hits for 56,158. Now for the time. Overall, this combo takes 1 second and 6 frames, or 1.1 seconds. So this brings our total for the combo up to 327,322. Next, we're going to move to Izzy plus Rocket. Izzy hits for 100,736. His Vengeance hits for 93,036. Now for the time. Overall, this combo takes 4 seconds and 18 frames, or 4.3 seconds. And this brings our total to 193,772. Finally, we're going to move to Izzy plus Typhon. Typhon with Explosive Light will hit for 48,164. Typhon without Explosive Light hits for 32,718. And Izzy will hit for 100,736. Now for the time. Overall, this combo takes 9 seconds and 3 frames, or 9.05 seconds, which is way more than the other two. So we're just going to go over the formulas that I'm using to get my numbers real fast. For our variables, D will equal the average DPS per player, and T will equal the time that it takes to execute each burst damage combo. For bubble damage, we just multiply the total team DPS times time, and then multiply by 1.25. So this comes out to 1.25 times 6 DX. For our banner shield damage, it comes out to the sentinel burst damage, plus the banner shield buffed section of team damage, and plus the unbuffed section of team damage. This brings our final equation for banner shield to the sentinel's burst damage, plus 1.4 times 5d, times x minus t, and then all that plus 5tt. So now, in order to determine which combo outputs the most damage, we're going to use graphs. We're just going to assume that everybody on the team is using a firing line linear fusion rifle with only the damage buff provided by bubble or banner shield but I'll leave the per player DPS variable open for change in the Desmos link if you want to mess with it. And as you can see, the results for Banner Shield are less than amazing. Unless you've only gotten an 8 second damage phase, the best combo, being the one with Parasite, isn't really going anywhere. So this got me to thinking. Burst damage isn't really going to work since the extra damage that you would have dealt is going to outweigh the burst fairly quickly because you have Banner Shield up for a really long time. So what if we picked a gun with terrible ammo economy but really high total damage, or even a gun that can damage while we use Banner Shield? The first two things that come to mind are Sleeper and Anarchy. So let's just go ahead and test these two new sustain combos. Sleeper is going to hit for 84,964 per shot. It takes 18 seconds plus 40 frames, or 18.6 seconds, to fire 12 shots. So this brings the DPS to 106,205. Anarchy ticks for 4,263 per tick and applies 20 ticks over 10 seconds and 23 frames. So this brings our DPS to just 8,198, so long story short, I'm not even going to graph Anarchy, it isn't going to work. For our new equation for Sleeper, it'll end up being the total damage of Sleeper over 12 shots, plus the increased team damage from Banner Shield for X minus 18.6 seconds, plus the non-Banner Shielded team damage over the time that you were using Sleeper. Overall, this comes out to 1,975,413 plus 7D 
times x minus 18.6, all of that plus 116.25 times d. And if you look at the graph, well, what do you know? This combo is actually stronger than purely just well, at least up to a 25 second damage phase. So the takeaways aren't exactly great for this, but it's something to keep in mind. If you're a Titan doing a damage phase at somewhere between 18 and 25 seconds, Banner Shield plus Sleeper is in fact a stronger DPS combo than just a linear plus bubble, at least provided if you have a well to be placed first. Although these margins seem pretty tight, it does give us some insight into what to watch out for in the future. If ever we get a new weapon with some really high total damage but terrible ammo economy, it'll work perfectly with Banner Shield. Also, if ever the average DPS per player drops, the Banner Shield combo will get even stronger as well. If you like what I do, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.